Did you know that vocal cracks aren't always a bad thing? They can actually be really useful and spice up your songs. So today's exercise is not going to help you avoid cracks, but rather we're going to look at how to intentionally make these vocal cracks happen so that we can take your songs to a whole new level. Hey there singers, it's Lara from Vox Ape Studios, an online singing studio where we help transform shy and aspiring singers into confident and authentic artists. When I say vocal cracks, I mean this, uh, uh, hear how there's like a break or a crack or a gap in my voice? Usually when we sing, we don't necessarily want to crack, right? We want to have a nice and smooth and balanced voice. But sometimes adding these cracks can actually be really cool and add a whole bunch of character to your songs. So many contemporary singers out there use these vocal cracks all the time to spice up their singing and spice up their songs. So cracking on purpose can actually be done in a couple different ways. We have flips like ah, ah, right? When I'm going from one note to another in a different register, that will be a flip or a yodel, right? Yodel -de 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 -de. That's a yodel. Then we also have cries. Hey, hey. That's also a crack right there in the beginning as well. So these vocal cracks can come in a bunch of different shapes and forms, okay? But at the end of the day, you're cracking your voice on purpose. Let's have a look at an exercise that's gonna help you make those cracks happen on purpose. And for today's exercise, I picked a song that has a lot of vocal cracks in it and it's a very famous song. It's Zombie by the Cranberries. So let's have a listen at how the exercise goes. Zombie, zombie. No cracks here, okay? We don't wanna crack just, have, just yet. Zombie, zombie. All chest voice. Now here you are cracking. A chest, a head, a head, In your head, in your head, zombie, hey, oh. So in your head, in your head, head, right there, that's a cry. In your head, in your head, zombie, hey, oh. So a, a, oh. We're kind of like throwing the note away, but that's also a crack right there, it's a flip. Now, what do we need to do to make this crack happen? We need to abruptly switch between the chest voice and the head voice. I cannot crack when I stay in the same register. I cannot crack from chest voice to chest voice. Ah, ah, ah. Can't make that happen. But if I go, ah, 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 now I'm cracking, right? I have to switch between two different registers to make the crack happening. Otherwise, there's no crack, all right? Yes, I'm going to those cracks. And here, cry on head. Good. All right, 
okay, well done. How did it go? Were you able to make those cracks happen? Right? Remember, you can only crack your voice when you're going from one register into another, right? When you're flipping from chest voice to head voice or the other way around, right? You need to switch between registers to make that crack happen. Otherwise, it ain't happening. Now again, just like with everything that I talk about on my channel, all these different vocal techniques, these tools that you can use, please use them with moderation, okay? These exercises are here to help you, you know, learn how to do these things, these embellishments, these tools, whatever it is we're talking about. And you're doing a lot of that all at once, but then if you're translating that into a song, you're not gonna use that much in a song, right? You're probably not gonna go in your head, in your head, zombie, and you're cracking in every single phrase that you're singing. Probably not, right? But again, the exercise is here to help you figure out how to do it so that then in a song you can use it in moderation. Having all these different tools and options like these flips and cracks and cries helps you to artistically express yourself so that you can find yourself as a person and as an artist and showcase that to everyone else so that you can stand out from all these other singers that are putting out their singing videos and their songs out there in this world. I have a free mini course for aspiring artists where I'm sharing with you the vocal changes that I made as a singer to help me transform into an artist that ended up landing me a management deal because now I was a real artist and I was recognizable and I could stand out from everybody else. If you want to learn more about this free mini course, just check the link in the description box below. Check out these videos next for some more vocal exercises and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did indeed enjoy this video. Thank you so much for singing with me and I'll see you next time.